Hello YouTube. Uh, just a little update on my wild jag pair that I uh, bought from Jeff Raps. Um, these guys are doing really well. I'm definitely not a fan of this gravel in here, but uh, I left it in because I did not want to stress these guys out any more than they were from that long shipment. These two are very active. I've got them eating pretty much anything I throw in there, right, which is uh, frozen krill, night crawlers, massive boar, NLS. Hell, I even tossed in some koi pellets. They munched on those too. They don't seem too concerned with the uh, silver dollars in here. Almost like they don't even exist. So I'm just gonna leave the silver dollars in for now. I'll probably pull them out, find a better spot for them. I wanted them to throw them in there with my fest day grow outs, but uh, I got a couple little guys and I don't need the silver dollars munching on them. So until they start getting beat up, this is where they're gonna hang out and prepare. A little flashing from the mail. Jeff did uh, treat these guys, so I'm not worried about it. No need to quarantine as I would normally do, but uh, these guys aren't going to be with any other fish. Uh, and Jeff did quarantine them. I see that male's tube coming down. Uh, maybe this female will be ready to spawn here soon. I do like this pair. Just need to get them fattened up. They have great, great color on them. You really can't see much of it in this video. I need to really get some better lighting. That male's got some beautiful purples to him, some golds, and some blues in his fins. I'm happy I finally broke down and bought this pair. They're definitely going to breed by the thousands, and uh, I mean, I guess if people are interested, I'll uh, be more than happy to hook them up with some fry. Otherwise, I don't plan on growing any fry out. Maybe the longest to be two months, six to eight weeks, and then I'll pull the fry. Well, the remainder of the fry, but I'll be pulling them and feeding them off to the rest of my fish throughout the, the four to six to eight weeks. Oh yeah. I turned off all the other lights around this tank hoping uh, that male would see his reflection in the back like he did the first night. Start going at it again. This is the second pair of Jags that I've ever owned. I've had lots of males solo. Um, just never found the right ones that I wanted to keep until just recently. Definitely hope these guys turn out pretty nice. I do have a fantastic male. Uh, he's about seven inches maybe. Trying to talk a buddy of mine real close by me to to take him off my hands so I don't have to sell him. That way I can always go check him out. Possibly throw him a couple females from whenever if these guys went or from any of the spawns that these guys produce if he's interested. But that that little male I got, he's gonna be hard to let go. Look how active these two are whole tank themselves. It's a lot better than sharing with a half, a half a dozen other jags. That male's got some pretty nice markings around his face. More paint.
I'm gonna do another water change on these guys tomorrow. Wait a minute. Today's Friday. No, I'm gonna do it on Sunday. Maybe tomorrow. Try to pump these guys into a spawn. Same with my Gorilla Blues. Speaking of Gorilla Blues, let's, uh, let's go check on those guys. That female is really bright. Tube hasn't dropped down far enough for me to get excited yet. But uh, here soon. I got people wondering what's in this pond. Well, really not a whole bunch of excitingness going on in here. This is uh, what I use for my overflow of fish, uh, stuff that's on standby to be sold or stuff I don't have room for. Right now I have uh, my F1 female fest day from Roadrunner, uh, my fireball. Um, she's a prolific female, perfect condition. She's about seven and a half, eight inches. She's looking for a home. If anybody is interested, I've got uh, threads on Monster Fish Keepers, tons of pictures and videos on my YouTube channel of uh, her and the male that I had was uh, Alpha and Omega would be the uh, Fest Day videos to check out. Ooh, there's, there's the female blue. Zoom in on her. Before I get too close. like to hang out in that pot. I know she's ready to spawn. Big girl. Yeah, there she goes. I'm gonna check out Prime here. Always gotta do a little update on this bad boy. Well, this camera's showing some greens. All I see is electric blue when I look at him. So... I went and bought a freaking DSLR for my pictures, but I don't have the proper lighting to make my picture stand out. And it doesn't do my videos any justice. I need a better video camera. So you can get a better zoom shot. There's some of the electric blue. Yeah, he's got to be pushing 11 inches or so. Really thick. He's got some nice trailers. I wish she'd go down in that pot and just lay the smack down on that female. Maybe I need to play some uh, Barry White for his ass. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I tried to bust the top off one of those flower pots, like I was talking about earlier, and uh, completely destroyed it. So they were in a waste of 20, 25 bucks. Um, I can't tell my wife about all that. I mean, it'll all add up eventually. But, uh, so much for that. Maybe I just need to get me a chop saw with a concrete blade on it. And, uh, see if that'll work. But it's pretty fragile. So, trying to use a concrete hammer or, or anything like that ain't gonna work. Well, I want my last updates. I posted with uh, these Magnum X's. Um, I got tired of guessing. So, earlier this afternoon, I went ahead and pulled them all three of them out and uh, flipped them over and bended them. And uh, hey, there's a uh, world below female. Let me Come on, zoom in. There you go. Well, they all seem female to me. I was looking for a little pecker, at least on one of them. But uh, they're clearly shaped U's. Uh, no obvious V's or 
any of that sort. So it looks like I've got uh, a bunch of female Magnum X's. But I can't complain because there you go, Chris. Let's see if I get a good shot of her. That's not bad. That's your female, buddy. There's my other male Jag. Oh, he wants some of that. Look at that. Jag and Umbi cross. Yeah, right. That little bad boy right there, I wish I could... I don't know, I might hang on to him. He's gonna be nice. But anyway, these females here, they're... Uh, this one in particular is phenomenal. She's got tons of freckles, nice colors, blues. Thought she was a male. Same with the future. You lost that name, buddy. Since you're not a male. She's gonna be somebody's future bride. <laughs> but, uh, yep, so I'm on the hunt for uh, a killer real mag male. Uh, anywhere between 7 and uh, 12 inches. Uh, I know there's a bunch of you out there with nice zombies. Uh, I would love to get my hands on one of my general males. You know, but there was that hopes and dreams. Especially that one Barik has. I'll get that boy back into my program. But, uh, so if anybody's got any nice zombies, they're going to want to sell or anybody that knows of anything. Uh, I got high standards. I'm, I'm looking for uh, tall body. You got to have a nuchal hump. Uh, the freckles on the face. You know, I would like them to be decent. I'm not looking for Star Spangled Banner. I mean, that would be nice. But they've got to have a decent amount of freckles. Um, I'm not worried about the blues or the trailers. Those will come and go. Uh, the high body is a definite. Same with the head. It's got to have the head profile and the high body. You guys are just hiding in here. Oh well. Now, my Trimax. Well, the, the eggs hatched. And again, the fucking fry disappeared and, uh, this boy went on a rampage and beat the shit out of the female. She's still fine. She's under that log over there. He's going to say hi to her right now, but uh, I don't know, man. I'm about done with that female. She obviously can't get it together, or he's eating egg. I don't know. I don't even care. Um, I'm about ready to get all, rid of all the fish in this tank and donate it to this male Trimac here for a solo. Uh, I got a buddy. Uh, his name's Jeff over in Oregon. He's got a bunch of Trimax. He bought some Pyros from uh, Skip. He's got a group from Jeff Raps and uh, some from... Where's this other group? I forget. Maybe Conkle? But, uh... He was talking about sending me some of his Raps females. But, I mean, I don't know. I think I'm gonna keep him as a solo. He's just a tank. He's probably about four and a half, well, five inches. Maybe five and a half. And my Midas pair in this tank. I didn't think they'd done it yet, but uh, those little bastards spawned. And they got wigglers back there in this corner. I don't know if I can see them. If you look real close, you can see them. They're back on that rock cluster. There's Mama protecting them. Old Daddy's in this fucking pot. So yeah, anybody wants these bad boys, please come and hit me up. Um, I'm about to remove, otherwise I'm going to toss those, that pair in the pond and good luck trying to find them as a pair because I've got a bunch of other Midas in there. Uh, but I will remove them as I don't want free swimming Midas fry in this tank. And then i got to start worrying about my fest day taking bombs. So. But. Like I was saying, if anybody's got any umbies, please hit me up. I'm definitely interested to take a look. Um, Y'all got my email. My email is freshwaterpredators at live.com. You can email me pics. Uh, PM me through Monster Fish Keepers or uh, on the YouTube here. Um, but anyway, appreciate everybody and uh, y'all have a good night. Peace out.